His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Buff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, what you are feeling now is not just nostalgia. It is the recreation of a time when your empathy and feeling we're more open, less subject to cynicism, less subject to fear. That feeling in Puff the Magic Dragon makes it, in a very fundamental way, a peace song. But all the other songs that I sang as a young person that are in these books, when we sing them together and listen to each other for the sense of wholeness, like... Remember, without the children, we cannot change it. Truly, it has to come not from policy, but from hearts. And if children can get outside that cycle of pushing away the other, and they can. They don't come out of the womb saying, I don't like you, and I don't like you for this reason. So, when we sing Puff, remember what it's truly about. Who here knows what Puff the Magic Dragon is truly about? Dylan, what's it about? <laughs> Come on in there, tell everybody, you knew it. You knew the answer. Dylan, can you believe this child? Oi, this is a surprise child. What's, what's your name? Tell me your full name. Dylan David Hack. That's right. And Dylan, well said. I like, the, I like that movement. That's peeling potatoes is good. And what grade are you in, Dylan? Um, kindergarten. Kindergarten is a very advanced stage. Dylan, what is Puff the Magic Dragon about? A dragon! Yeah! Okay, thank you, Dylan. What, is there anybody else who wants to answer that after Dylan? Do you also have a, do you have a contribution? <laughs> Come on up. Tell the people once again <coughs> what your name is and your grade. My name is Logan and my grade is second grade. Oh. Puff the Dragon is about peace. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Logan, did anybody get that on tape? I want to put that, I want to play that for the rest of my life. Puff the Magic Dragon Lived by the sea and frolics in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Little Jackie Paper loves that rascal puff and brings him strings and ceiling rats and other fancy stuff. Everybody puff the magic dragon. Lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist. Here I am, going on a lead. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist. In a land called Ireland, well, together they would travel on 
a boat with billows and Jackie kept a lookout perched on both strike and detail Noble kings and princes would bow and ear they came Pirate ships would lower their flags when puff roared out Everybody say puff the magic dragon lives by the sea. Wait, 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 we've got a rewrite here. <laughs> Would you sing that again? Because you did it something very important. Oh, the magic dragon lives by the sea. Lives by the sea. He's still with us. And you know why? Because Jackie's daughter actually. It wasn't Jackie's. We need a little parental guidance. Because uh, otherwise we lose teeth. So, Jackie got married. They did have a couple of kids, but she had a couple of kids first. And that actually, the little girl that you see in that, her name was. What was her name? Marissa. Her name was Marissa. How did you know that? That's fantastic. Come on up here and sing with me. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. The magic dragon lives by the sea. Lives and frolics in the hidden mist in a land called Honolulu. Yes! The magic dragon lives by the sea. Wait a second. How old are you, sweetheart? Me. Can you imagine? I wrote this song in 1959 and she's three years old and she knows the words. All right. We don't have to sing the sad part at all because it's no longer necessary. Jackie grew up and he fell in love. He had to get older, he had to take care of trying to heal the world and get on that boat paddle with his friends to all the lands. He had to be part of the great movement in the world and do whatever he could can. And so it was that one day his daughter went to puff. And don't you think that for that magic dragon that was really magic stuff? And he was happy again and he said, How's Jackie? I miss him. Oh, I miss him so. And his daughter, Jackie's daughter, Marissa, said, Oh, you know, he'd be here if he could go. But now he's got another dragon. And that's his ideals and his hopes and dreams. But he still loves you, Pop. And he sends his love. And now it seems that the new children that come and play with you will be passed on one day too. But I promise you, Puff, there'll always be enough children to make you happy too. Singing Puff, the magic dragon lives by the sea and frolics in the autumn is all Puff. The magic dragon. The great way. Please know how grateful I am and sing once in a land. Oh, oh, oh.